Yemen's Houthi movement issued a stark warning on Saturday, pledging to target all ships bound for Israel, regardless of their nationality. The Iran-aligned group, which has been actively involved in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, escalated tensions by urging international shipping companies to steer clear of Israeli ports. The Houthi militia has recently seized Israeli-linked ships in strategic maritime choke points such as the Red Sea and the Bab al-Mandab Strait. These areas serve as vital sea lanes for global oil shipments. In addition to seizing ships, the group has launched ballistic missiles and armed drones at Israel, heightening the risk of a broader regional conflict. Houthi officials have justified their actions as a show of support for the Palestinians, particularly those in Gaza. In a statement, a Houthi military spokesperson declared a ban on all ships destined for Israeli ports in the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea. The spokesperson warned that failure to address the humanitarian needs of Gaza would result in armed forces targeting any ships bound for Israeli ports. Israel, quick to respond, condemned these attacks on ships as Iranian acts of terrorism with far-reaching consequences for international maritime security. The threat issued by the Houthi movement had an immediate impact on shipping activities in the region. The Houthi militia is part of the Iran-aligned Axis of Resistance, a coalition targeting Israeli and US interests since October 7th, following an attack by Hamas militants on Israel. In a recent incident, three commercial vessels faced aggression in international waters, prompting intervention by a US Navy destroyer. Last month, the Houthi forces seized a British-owned cargo ship with ties to an Israeli company, further escalating tensions in the region. The United States and Britain have unequivocally condemned these acts on shipping, attributing them to Iran's support for the Houthi rebels. However, Tehran asserts that its allies make independent decisions. In response to the escalating situation, Saudi Arabia has called on the United States to exercise restraint in its reaction to the attacks, emphasizing the need for diplomatic solutions to prevent further destabilization in the region. The international community closely watches as tensions rise, with concerns growing over the potential for a wider conflict in this volatile region.